Well, thanks, Senator. Really appreciate it. Thank you all for, for having me. I, um, it's interesting. We did the trade mission to Israel my first year in office, and we've recently been dealing with, uh, and I'm, we did a whole bunch of stuff, academic engagement, business engagement. I mean, it was really an incredible trip. So we're dealing with different issues uh, regarding Lake Okeechobee. We have algae blooms. We're concerned about how the Army Corps of Engineers may discharge water in our estuaries. And so I'm working with the Department of Environmental Protection. I said, we've got to be proactive. If this algae, if they do this, what can we do? What, what do we have? And it turns out we have uh, relationships now with various companies, including an innovative tech company in Israel who has solutions for this blue-green algae. So we actually had this happening in one of the canals. These guys were out there. They're applying all this biodegradable. It's working. Uh, so I was able to go out down um, in Southwest Florida a couple of weeks ago and see that firsthand. But it just shows you know, the relationship. We're over there. We're doing this. We have Israeli companies uh, that are actually helping Florida meet some of the needs. And so we really appreciate the relationship that we have. Uh, Joe mentioned uh, the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. You know, that was something that we worked really hard on in Congress and were able to get that done under President Trump. And I was there when they actually uh, opened the embassy, which is a really incredible experience. We know, uh, we knew then, we knew when I first became governor, and of course we see now, you know, we have to deal with anti-Semitism that I think if you look back 20 years ago, anti-Semitism is worse today than it was, which is really incredible that we would be seeing that. And I think the best way uh, to do it from a, a position in elected office is we got to go on offense against anti-Semitism. I think we've done a good job uh, of doing that in conjunction with the Florida legislature. My first year in office, um, you know, we signed the anti-Semitism bill into law. Actually, when we were in uh, when we were in Jerusalem, uh, that basically says, you know, anti-Semitism is akin to uh, how we would treat racism. It has no place in our academic institutions, not just K through 12, but also higher education. And we thought that that was very important and send a strong message. Also, when I first came into office, you had Airbnb uh, that was engaging in activities that violated Florida's BDS law. We spoke out on that immediately. We added them to our uh, list uh, of, of companies that had run afoul of Florida anti-discrimination law. And sure enough, uh, very shortly after that, Airbnb reversed the policy uh, that unfairly targeted Jews. I think when you look to see some of the things that are happening in Israel, the demonization of Israel uh, really feeds anti-Semitism. You know, I'm very pro-Israel. I have great relationships uh, over there. I'm proud of that. Same time, you don't have to support, you know, have a good relationship. It's fine. If you criticize Israeli policy, that's all fair game. But when they are singled out for disfavored treatment, over countries that are committing untold atrocities, and yet Israel is, say, the number one country that's getting sanctioned by the United Nations over and over again, when they're held to a different standard and singled out like that, that does feed anti-Semitism. And so we've been very strong in saying Israel has a right to defend itself, and if these international institutions are singling them out and applying a different standard to the world's only Jewish democracy, and we are saying, yes, that is anti-Semitic to apply a separate standard in that way. We also believe that it's very important that we have very strong Holocaust education in our K through 12 schools throughout the state of Florida. I signed a bill in 2019-2020 a year, um, making sure uh, that school districts have Holocaust instruction that is accurate and that is telling the accurate story. We cannot have uh, people try to whitewash the Holocaust in Florida schools. We're just not going to put taxpayer dollars to that. Very important that that story is told. Uh, we're also proud of what we've been able to do uh, to support safety at Jewish day schools. We did another $4 million in this year's budget uh, to support security at, at, at Florida's Jewish day schools. We also did hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, to different types of Holocaust remembrance, either memorials, um, uh, or task force. And we think that that's something that's very, very important. So uh, Florida, I think, regardless, almost everybody, regardless of party, I think is, is united to say, uh, you know, we have no tolerance uh, for this anti-Semitic uh, behavior. Uh, when I hear these stories about people, when you see some of this stuff happening with Hamas, that somebody who's Jewish is walking down the street and is getting attacked or accosted, 
Um, certainly in other parts of the country, I've heard some really, really bad stuff. And then we've seen some of this nasty stuff in Florida. I think we all just need to uh, speak with one voice and say that this is not something uh, that's going to be tolerated here. Uh, we are going to stand with um, our Jewish brothers and sisters, and we are absolutely uh, going to stand strong um, in support of the Florida-Israel Israel relationship. And uh, yeah, as, as governor, you know, I'm going to defend uh, Israel's rights to keep their, their citizens safe. Uh, against terrorist attacks. And so I want to thank all the legislators who've worked really hard on a lot of great legislation over the last many years. Um, I know as more issues come down the pike, uh, we'll, we'll be there. But we really feel like from BDS to Holocaust education to fighting anti-Semitism, you know, we really feel, feel in Florida that when these issues present themselves, the legislature steps up and we're able to sign some very good bills into law and also have good budget support uh, for things like security, uh, Jewish day schools, and of some of our synagogues. So thank you all um, and God bless everybody.